It has just ended at Ellen Road. Leeds United 2, Cardiff City 2 on the opening day of the championship season for the Whites. Leeds United saved themselves from losing on the first day with a Somerville 90th minute limbs to get a point. It was decent from Somerville. You know he likes a late goal and he's done it again. We're going to get all into the game. Was it a positive point or was it a, you know... Maybe we should have got three. Either way, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, like I said, smash that like button. Let's go for 300 likes for that amazing 90th minute limbs. Also, subscribe if you're new. Going to give you three seconds to subscribe if you are new around here and you want to see loads of championship content for Leeds United. One, two, three. Thank you for subscribing. Like I said, comment your thoughts on today's game. And who was your man of the match? Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United, uh, United analysis, basically, for this game. As you can see, a not a very happy Leeds fan back there with his cup of tea but yeah i don't know how are you feeling dad after that give us a little shout in one word confident, confident. that's what he said confident fair play uh but either way legion i do go a goal down in the first half it was scrappy defending but what do we expect from the same you know defense that has been useless for the last three seasons luke Aylen, coop strauk i know in the end it turned out okay you know coop's obviously got the goal and things and Aylen and strauk actually had a decent game but it's just, you know, League One defending. We can't even say championship defending now because that's where we are. It just didn't look very good at all. Simple goal and their Cardiff player put it in the bottom corner. Melier could do nothing about it. Then Legion I go two goals down. Again, Luke Ayling's positioning was embarrassing. The left-sided midfielder just had so much time, so much space. There's like a, a visual like time stamp of it. And Ayling's not even in the picture. And it looks, it looks very just... Typical Lou Gayling. Leeds go two goals down at the break. In fairness, we had chances. We did have chances with the likes of Nonto, Somerville, Sinistera. But if this game was going to call out for anything today, it's a striker. It's a 20-goal striker. You know, someone tall, someone who can put the ball in the back of the net. I love the likes of Ian Paveda, Sinistera, Somerville, Nonto, even Dan James today. I like that, but there's no real end product. We need someone who can put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, but shout out to all of them. They, they did have very decent games. Um... But yeah, Leeds, two goals down the break. Like I said, you know, we did control the game possession-wise. We had chances. It was just a bit of annoying. It was just annoying how we went two goals down, really. They kind of had two shots, two goals, but fair play to Cardiff. And then uh, I knew in the second half we were going to come out on top. We needed to, obviously. We, we needed to get back into the game. And about three minutes in, Leeds score from a corner. Yeah, we're definitely back in the championship. Leeds score from a corner. Somerville whipped in. Cooper with the header. Lovely little header from the Scotsman. But he did go off injured. He landed a bit funny. He got stretch it off. I don't think it was that bad. I'll send to my dad now, get up in a minute. And he obviously couldn't and couldn't continue. I don't know how long uh, he'll be out for, but speedy recovery to Coop. So yeah, he got us back in the game at 2-1 and then it was all leads. For the rest of the game, all leads, just battling for that equaliser, chance after chance. Their goalkeeper had a very decent game. There was, you know, chances from Dan James and things like that. But either way, uh, you know, we, we were just knocking on the door, knocking on the door. And in the end, Leeds United Get that 90th minute point, you know, Sinistera, try and maybe overcomplicate it a bit. Nice bit of skill, had a shot, smacked about three Cardiff players, falls to Somerville on the half turn, puts it bottom left corner. Lovely finish from Somerville, took his top off. It was all going good. And uh, Leeds United, you know, ended the day not in defeat, which is good. It feels like a positive point for me. I believe, you know, how in control we were of the game. It's just defensively, again, we need someone like Charlie Cresswell when he came on, I thought was fantastic. Why wouldn't we start Charlie and Strauk or Charlie and Coops? I, I believe Charlie Cresswell needs to start for me. Sam Byron, when he came on, I was saying to my dad, I really like the look of Sam Byron. He gets it. He gets leads and he's a decent football player. The, you know, his assets could be important if he stays injury free. And that's exactly what we need Sam Byron for. Uh, Ailing got into the game a lot more. Obviously, the first two goals, you could single handedly probably blame him. And how many times have we said that over the three seasons? He needs to stay switched on. You know, he's looking sharp, but he's looking more sharp attacking than he is defending. Um, but either way, yeah, he needs to stay switched on. We can't keep be conceding goals like that. But I think Cardiff will be all right this season. I was discussing it with my dad. I think they'll be okay. They'll be mid-table pack. Could be knocking on the door for playoffs, like in and around 9th, 10th. But who knows? I, I think, and it's so easy to, you know, say that on the opening day. Obviously, Leeds could be there. You never know where Leeds are going to be. But I'm similar with my dad when he, when he said, you know, confidence. There, there was a lot of, we looked like we owned the game, even though we only came away with a point. Uh, Ethan Ampadu, again, was fantastic. I thought in the middle of the park, he gets it. He's very good on the ball. He maybe needs a runner around him. If Tyler Adams gets fit, he could play alongside him. That'll be a deadly partnership. But you, you can't 
you know, I think my man of the match for Leeds today um, w- would be Archie Gray. He, he went in next to him, youngster, 17-year-old, fantastic. You know, in that first half, he was the best player. Second half, he won the ball back. He looked good. He looked very good, Archie Gray. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, 90 minutes for him will definitely, you know, it will definitely help him for the next game. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see what Archie Gray can do this season. The front three of Dan, James, Sinny and Somerville, uh, you know, were fantastic. I thought Somerville, you know, just shows his talent. The ball looks like it's glued to his feet. Every time he, uh, you know, every time he runs at defenders, Sinistera could easily be the, you know, the, the best championship player this season. Uh, I think he's got it in him. Uh, Dan James got into the game a bit more. Sometimes he just looks a bit weak in the challenges, but he, I like it when he takes on man, like men. He's he's the he's the fastest player in the league, a hundred percent. So he needs to do that more. Nonto up top. I like Nonto. He, he's not a striker though. Um, when he gets on the ball, something happens. But like I said, this game was really calling out for a, a you know a striker that could score goals. But at the end of the day, Leeds United come away with a point, and that's you know a lot better than it was at half time. Obviously, maybe could have got three. But, you know, I'm taking confidence into the next game. There's still errors there, of course, defensively. Attacking-wise, we need an out-and-out striker. Um, We probably need another centre-back. I don't know. I'd start Charlie Cresswell. I thought he was fantastic when he came on. But, yeah, it's a bit of a reality check. Leeds back in the the championship. You know, the drama's still there. And uh, at the end of the day, it's a good point. It is a good point um, after being two goals down. But I know Daniel Farker will not be happy with, with Leeds United, you know, going to two goals down at the break and having to chase the game, he'd want that three points. But hopefully in the next game, obviously we've got Shrewsbury midweek and then I believe we've got Birmingham uh, next Saturday. Um, it's going to be an, another test for Leeds. I think every game in this division will be a test this year. The championship isn't just, it's not a walk in the park anymore. It's, you know, competitive. There's some good teams in there. And I think Leeds United will be in and around uh, that playoff area, if not the top two, if we can stay switched on. There was definitely a lot of talent out there on that pitch. But at the end of the day, we came away with two, you know, only a point, And that's credit to Cardiff. But guys, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, this little analysis video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, I'm going to be hopefully starting a new series next week. So instead of live stream watch alongs, I'm going to be doing something after the games. I'm going to probably do a reaction and then something in the evening with some other Legion United content creators. So look out for that. Subscribe if you're new and comment your thoughts on the game and your man of the match. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Oh.